What is going on everybody? This is Dylan with your weekly gear news update. Uh, we go through a bunch of the gear that I've found on the internet over the last week that I think you might think is cool. We'll put as much of it in the links, you know, links to it in the description below. If you do use those links, it does help out the channel, so I do appreciate it. Uh, let's get into the news. And at the end of this news, I got some cool stuff I'm going to tell you about as well. So, very first, Dave Friedman. Friedman Amps has teamed up with Two Notes Audio Engineering to come up with five virtual ca uh, cab sims. So for those of you that are not familiar, when you're using a modeler, uh, having a good cab sim is probably most of the battle to make it sound and feel a lot more like you're actually in the room with it. So uh, let's see, and to get accurate recording really. So he has used the Friedman Vintage 412 Black, the Vintage 412 G12, the 412 Green, the 412 Vint, and 412 Vint 6402. So there's five new ones there. I think you can get the pack of these for somewhere around 40 bucks, which is pretty cool. Uh, I think they were recorded at Sunset Sound in Los Angeles. So these should be pretty high quality. Everything Friedman does is, seems to be super high quality. So definitely go and check it out. Old Blake Wyland over there at Tone Mob Podcast has been teasing this for a while and it's finally out, which is really, really cool. He has teamed up with Big Ear Pedals. Apparently this took almost like two years to develop, uh, but it is a pizza slice shaped fuzz pedal. It's really cool. It's like photorealistic pizza. If you have not watched the, or listened to, I mean, uh, Blake Weiland's podcast over there, the Tone Mob podcast, you'll know, uh, well, I don't want to spoil it, but pizza is pretty much a weekly feature <laughs> uh, of their show. And I've been on it before. It's fantastic. It's a great podcast. Go and check it out. He's a fuzz guy. He's a pizza guy. So this makes total sense. Um, it is called The Slice of Pie, which is pretty cool. Um, anyway, make sure you go and check out the Big Ear Slice of Pie, and make sure you check out Blake's podcast, The Tone Mob Podcast. Line 6 has a new update for their Helix line, uh, 3.15, and they've added their own called the Ventu uh, Amp profile. So apparently this is a <laughs> this is a version of a very sought after boutique amp. I wonder what that means. Um, apparently it's a pretty in-depth amp, amp sim and apparently it's very good. I don't know anything about it because I don't have one of these right now. I'm actually thinking about ordering another one because I used to have one, sold it, kind of a mistake. So I think I'm gonna probably get another one. Maybe we'll be able to dive into that. They've also released uh, or included some more of their legacy effects. So there's a bunch of delays and um, various other things on there too. So if you are an HX effects, HX stomp, um, line six helix person, make sure uh, that you do this update if it applies to your unit. So Hoshino Industries is the U.S. importer for Ibanez. Uh, they are hitting 50 years in 2022 of, of business. And so Ibanez is doing a very interesting, very cool sort of over the top custom shop line of instruments to commemorate the 50 year anniversary. You look at in the box here, there's some crazy stuff fully figured maple, weirdly chambered, all blue. Uh, and then of course, my personal favorite that I'm gonna kind of gravitate towards is carbon fiber, top, back, and sides, peg head, ebony fretboard, some crazy, crazy custom shop stuff. Uh, these aren't gonna be cheap and there's not gonna be a lot of them, but very cool stuff. Kind of, I love the fact that it's kind of pushing Make it weird, make it cool, do something different. Uh, this is not just bold new graphics. This is trying with some new materials and some new um, you know, construction and stuff. I really dig it. Uh, you might think it's wacky, but hey, it's 
It's pretty awesome. So Slash has a new record, it's called Four, like the number four. So Gibson has come out with a commemorative model uh, of his new record, which it's basically the same thing as all his other guitars, but it comes with a bunch of merch with fours on it. And uh, I think of an actual copy of the record on vinyl. Um, it actually comes with, you can see the four on the guitar. It doesn't come on there. There's a sticker that you can actually put on there if you want, but you don't have to. Sort of weird thing to do. It is a Gibson, it's not an Epiphone. So if you are a Slash fan or a Slash 4 fan, or I don't know, like a Ricky Carmichael fan, I guess, you know, if you're into motorbike stuff, maybe, maybe you want a guitar with a 4 on it. Sure. Speaking of not same old thing with bold new graphics, River Song. Glenwood TS6 Limited Edition Acoustic. This is very, very interesting. When you see it in the picture, you think, hmm, it's just like the Gibson G-hole, or at least that's what I call it, with the hole up there. It's kind of in a different spot, but this is different. If you look real closely at the sound hole, you'll see that it is a neck-through acoustic. The, the neck starts at the peg head and goes all the way through the body of the guitar which is very interesting for an acoustic guitar. It also means that it changes the needs for bracing and how, they call it skeleton bracing. And then apparently there's some technology about how the, the bridge attaches to the guitar. This is crazy. And basically what they're saying is, uh, it makes it feel like an electric guitar, but still like an acoustic guitar. I definitely want to try this. I don't know where I can get one. They're about $2,000, something right in there which is fine for a well-made acoustic guitar. I would be very interested to see how that feels and what, what that does and the balance and everything. What a cool thing. If you look at the pictures really close, it's a very interesting design. So apparently there was some, I don't know, was it on Netflix or HBO or one of those streaming services anyway, some series about some band from the 60s um, from England. Um, I'm just messing. So, you know, the Beatles series about the story of the Beatles. Apparently, as a result of that, there's been a lot of demand to bring back George Harrison's all Rosewood Telecaster. So, Fender is bringing it back. I think the numbers are a bit limited, but it is a all Rosewood, so Rosewood body, Rosewood neck, Rosewood fretboard, the whole thing's Rosewood. I can't remember if it was two, is it two original Rosewood Tellies and two original Rosewood Strats that they kind of made all at the same time. I got to play one of the Rosewood Strats and I got to see one of the original Rosewood Tellies. They're so heavy, like over 10 pounds, wicked heavy. So these ones are chambered. So that's gonna be a different thing to bring it down to a more realistic weight and balance because Rosewood is so heavy. Uh, but anyway, there you go. All Rosewood George Harrison commemorative telly. Pretty cool if you're into Rosewood and the Beatles. I don't know if you're a huge Jerry Cantrell fan, but he just came out with a new video. In that video, he was playing a new guitar, and I don't know if more eagle eye viewers saw or not, but his signature was on the peg head. So, uh, Gibson songwriter, Jerry Cantrell, smash them together and you get two models. You get the Atone and you get the, what is the other one called? Fire Devil version of the Gibson Songwriter and you get a two Jerry Cantrell uh, signature guitars. Uh, they're basically the same guitar, just with different graphics on them. But there you go, they are, how much are these things? 37.49 and 39.99 and they're only making 100 of each, it looks like. So, you better jump on those ones. For, I don't know, as long as I can remember, line six amplifiers, like just the little combos, have been the brunt of many a joke and have been sort of the beginner amp and everybody says, well, you know, at least you don't have a line six spider or whatever, you know, which I don't agree with those jokes. Those jokes are dumb because those amps are for somebody, definitely. 
But Line 6, over the last few years, especially with the whole Helix thing, has definitely, I don't even want to say up their game, they have changed the game about how you bring digital stuff to A, a music venue, and B, uh, to the normal player in an accessible way. I mean, a Line 6 HX Stomp is like $5.99 or $6.99, and it is a fully featured small modeler that sounds as good as, because it's pretty much the same thing, only smaller, as its bigger brothers. These things are fantastic. What they have not had is they have not had an actual little combo amp that normal people could just take to a gig, uh, an open mic, a uh, normal kind of thing like that. Think Boss Katana and how legendary that very inexpensive amp has become and put a Line 6 badge on it, take all of the HX effects, HX stomp, HX line, Helix stuff and stuff it in there. Not all of it, but, but some of it. Take that technology and stuff that in there. And you have what they are calling the catalyst range of dual channel combos 60 watt 60 watt one which is a 112 uh 100 watt one which is also a 112 and a 200 watt 212 here's the kicker i want to say the most expensive one is 499 so the 60 watt is 299 the 100 watt is 399 and the 200 watt is 499 with a 212 cabinet so you have the technology of the HX HXFX stuff, the HX Stomp, the HX, uh, the Line 6 Helix stuff, that technology put into one of these amps. This is not your old school Line 6 Spider. You cannot get this confused. This is a completely different thing. And they're putting it directly in competition with the Boss Katana, which makes 110% sense. This is gonna be a monster of an amp. I actually tried to put one on pre-order this morning. They're, they're hard to get right now. They're really cool because they have power scaling. Uh, I believe the bigger version has MIDI. Um, so the connectivity stuff to be used in a professional setting, you know, playing out live, it's meant to do that. And I would imagine, I would imagine that because it has the same tech, tech as the other stuff, that they're gonna sound really, really good. So I'm excited to get my hands on it. I haven't even watched any videos about it or anything. I know there's some videos out there already. This is very, very cool. I'm gonna put a link to it in the description. It's probably gonna be a pre-order link, but I don't know. I'm gonna, I'll update it, you know, as we go here. Uh, yeah, very cool. This is to me the highlight of the week. That's why I left it for the end. Game changer, big time game changer, uh, especially at these price points because this, matters these amps matter for a lot of people make sure you check out our live stream on thursday night because i've got some really cool news some really cool stuff happening here at dylan talks tone i've been working on it for a while and uh yeah so we're going to tell you about it we're going to tell you about it on thursday if you're on patreon you might already know about it but you might not so check out our live stream on thursday Make sure you check out our other videos coming out on Monday, as well as the news every Wednesday. Thanks a lot. Subscribe, hit the bell, do all of the youtube -y kind of stuff, and check out the links to all the stuff we talked about today in the description below.